I'm right outside of Disney's Epcot. And the reason why I'm here today is because it's the grand opening of the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And I'm going to try to ride it. So they're not doing a standby line for Guardians of the Galaxy, so you can't just show up and get in line and like 27 hours later ride it. <laughs> they're doing a virtual queue through the app. So at 7 a.m. and at 1 p.m. you can try to get a ticket, basically like a ticket or a place in line to ride this. So mm -hmm. we're really hoping because we got here early that at 7 a.m. we'll get a chance to ride it. Yeah. yeah. Although we do have T-Mobile and T-Mobile sucks. So I don't right. know. What if they sponsor us someday? <laughs> T-Mobile yeah. Tuesdays? I want the shirt. <laughs> Stop with that. Well, hopefully we hopefully we can get on, get on it today. That's all I got to say. Yeah, yeah. But I'm really hoping yeah. that we get the earlier one because I would love to be home a little bit later tonight to watch the new Stranger Things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll see. If not, then the next part of this video might be us looking really sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's probably true. So it's it's not it's six thirty a.m. right now. We might be riding it at nine p.m. tonight. That's so true. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Gosh. All right, stick around. Woo! Well, we didn't get it. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to hit a like. And it's okay to actually thumbs down it too. Um, yeah. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. I don't know how. We had all four of us trying at the same yeah. time. Everybody else was like, it. woo. Yeah. And then we were the only people that walked away like, okay, I, I guess think it was we didn't because, get it. Because we all got the button that said join virtual queue. And I yeah. think we all hit it at the same time. And I, I think, think we, and then it of said, of canceled it out. No, no. Right. I, think it, I think we canceled ourselves out. I, I think, think so too. Yeah. When it said join virtual crew. Uh, Q, one of us yeah. should have, everyone should have stopped and one of us should have just done it. Yeah, because yeah. it said something went wrong on yeah. all four of our phones. Yeah. yeah. And so I think we did it to ourselves. Yeah, so maybe that's a good tip if you're in a group of people, maybe have one person do it because I think we glitched yeah. it out. Yeah. Well, the good news is we get one more chance at one o'clock to get another virtual pass. So let's walk around Epcot and check things out until then. Yeah, that sounds cool. So we're just killing time right now and I'm in between Soren and Figment. And look, there's Winnie the Pooh! Hi! Hello! Hi, Pooh! Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh! A picture? Can oh, I get a yes. picture? Of oh my goodness! Thank you! Thank you, Pooh! Thank you! <laughs> or Winnie. I don't know which one Pooh prefers. Hello. I would prefer Winnie if my name was Pooh. <laughs> Well, it's Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. How is you that his name? Is middle name the? Yeah, we're in the UK pavilion. I give him these little. These are kind of cute. The cups. Mm -hmm. And this cocktail was only seventeen dollars. <laughs> cheers! Yeah, mm. cheers. <laughs> Get the child in there. <laughs> it's actually a water enhancer that we got for free. All right, it's almost one o'clock. I mean, even if we don't get the pass anyways, we had a pretty fun day here. We walked around the world, we went on Soren. I, it sounds like I was gonna name off more things <laughs> we did, but that's all we did. All right, 12.59. Let's do or die. Get ready to hear cheers or jeers. I'm so tense right now. Are you kidding me? We didn't get it again, did we? Everybody's screaming. We got 140. <gasps> we did? Yep. We got it! We got it! Woo! <laughs> okay, so our number just got called. So let's go on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Whoa! It kind of looks like Test Track. Like the queue? No, Except cool. with space. I like being in the queue because my hair is blowing. Yeah, it is. It's fun. So this is what Walt wanted Epcot to be originally. <laughs> this right here? Yeah. Our city boasts an extensive canal system ranging from larger ones, which serve as the main pathways, to narrow ones, which connect citizens to residential. Look at that! Look at that! It's just like the one outside. I think that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Is that... 
Yeah. Is that Metal Sonic? Yeah, it's Metal Sonic. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Metal Sonic yeah, Neo. Metal. <laughs> oh, uniforms. Look at this! What he's trying to say is, he did sacrifice himself to save us all and stand up for him. Fortunately, he's plant-based, so he grew them back. And they grow up so fast, especially when you water them. Aww. What is this? Half-made the plant, we saved his butt and his daughter. Aww. It's not often one gets to interview the most dangerous woman in the galaxy. Welcome, Gamora. Wait, who called me that? Peter Quill. You mean Starling? Oh, oh, look. I was told he hates It's Scott. continuing over here. Oh, yeah, he does. He really hates him. So how did your guardians end up teaming up with the Ravagers? As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment. One which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. Epcotters, <laughs> Epcotians, citizens of Epcot, does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on? Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. Okay, so I just got off of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. If you want my overall review, I loved it. It was a great ride. First, like everyone knows that this is a roller coaster, and all we can really do is, is tell people what we would compare it to. But this is definitely a fusion of a lot of roller coasters, a lot of rides. Like, yeah, yeah. I, it's got deep uh, Space Mountain vibes. Obviously, like yeah. Like Space Mountain space. Disneyland, Space Mountain, not Space Mountain Here. Florida. But yeah. it's really smooth. It's, very it's smooth. really I mean, smooth. Yeah, normally like, after really a ride, really my neck and back are like aching. You and know, this time really it nice. was so smooth. It, it felt yeah. awesome. It yeah. felt like, you know, uh, if you know Primeval World, the very spinny ride where, you know, whenever you go on to Kurt, like, you know, bends, your cart spins. It felt like if someone did that ride, but at an angle. Right, right, so you right. Were constantly, so you like, didn't get whiplash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the premise, though, of being in space and seeing, like, in pitch black, stars, very space mountain. Yeah, but there was other up. stuff going on. Like, I think there's story stuff going on, but I was like, wow, this ride's fun. And I didn't pay attention to any of the story stuff. <laughs> well, well, I think the I story really... was that you were just going through a wormhole. Yeah, well, I think that was, yeah. In the beginning was very like the mummy or rock and roller coaster or like. I was like, yeah, the Hulk. The Hulk. Because you're going through the yeah, wormhole, you're the going big hole. Like a... But not yeah. as intense as a coaster. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is very smooth. But you did go backwards smooth. for a little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I said when I went backwards? What? Let it go, let it go. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I thought that in my mind. I thought Adam Sandler singing Frozen. Let it go. <laughs> oh, whatever. I like the music that was on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. yeah, the music was Gloria very... Stefan in the Miami Sound Machine. Very Florida, so I, I appreciate that. I also <laughs> heard from the specs that um, if you go on it like multiple times, the music's randomized. Oh, yeah, 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 you'll get a different song. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You could yeah. possibly no, get a different song. And what you mean by the specs is you mean retros. What's the name? Retro Spectrum? Yeah, Retro Spectrum, sorry. Oh, Retro channel. underscore yeah. Spectrum. Yeah. yeah. Check out their channel. <laughs> Ting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave it in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard a lot of people say it's the best ride they've ever been on, like the best ride at any in theme park. No, I've heard people say that. Yeah. It's the best ride. Is I would there? say it's definitely yeah. officially the best ride at Epcot. 
don't know that high Wait, bar. Wait, what ride at Disney is better than this? I can't think what of it. What ride? Rise? Rise is really good. Oh, I guess Mickey so. Mickey and Minnie's is pretty Runaway good. Runaway Train's really good. It's good. Everest? I will fight. This is this is I way better than almost everything Everest. you're talking about. I mean, a special effects in this is better. I mean, I'll obviously. give you the rise. Rise is still like rise up there, is pretty though. good. Yeah. Like yeah. when I first heard that there was gonna be a Guardians of the Galaxy ride here, I was like, oh, that sticks out a little bit because it's like a oh, superhero Marvel stuff. I'm like, I don't know if that really fits in with that thought, but no, it, it, yeah, it, it fits in around here because it's all like yeah. another planet, woo, future space. This yeah. ride gels really well with this area. Yeah, if, so if the whole area like, flows. Yeah, it's pretty good. So like, yeah. you hear rumblings of people that, you know, they put in Guardians here to replace Ellen, and people are like, I don't want them to, you know, like, incorporate that sort of attraction to, like, you know, the learning aspect or whatever it is. Not that we learn anything from this, but it still fits the theme. I mean, my the history teacher area. once said that Spaceship Earth is her favorite ride, like, ever. Yeah, that's a great ride. And I feel like... So I feel like oh, this fits in with Spaceship Earth, like yeah. the, the way the, <laughs> well, no, but yeah. the way the the line queue looks, like uh, yeah, yeah, aesthetically yeah. how yeah. the light is, it all. Well, so that's probably because this movie is supposed to have like an '80s vibe to it, and yeah. so like it definitely has a futuristic uh, yeah. '80s look with all the neon and glowing stuff. I also really like that uh, in the ride. There's parts where you're like turning like this. Yeah. And uh, in the center, there's like an Earth or a moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was really cool. That yeah, was that cool. Really well done. Something cool. Something cool. Look Something behind cool. you. Look behind you. Oh, it's a monorail. Yeah. Yeah. Future. Right, let's, let's wrap this up. Yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. If you like this video and want to see more footage like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I want Ellen back. No, no I don't. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I don't want Ellen back. Do you think this ride's worse than Ellen? No. Ellen was like excruciating. <laughs> Let's be real. I love that ride. I, I love like, it too, really but they only had to make like 40 announcements about like, make sure you really want to go on this. And then like the last minute, somebody would like, like bolt out of there. They're like, this is a 40 minute long ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, this is good.